this comment right here. You have to leave the U.S. to eat real food? Let's get into this. And hopefully you guys aren't still eating Chick-fil-A. This chicken sandwich has 55 ingredients, not to mention a few toxic dyes as well. But let's continue. I mean, come on, guys. If the ingredients list is this long, you might want to reconsider putting the food into your body. Let's continue. And for all the non-believers, look at the comparison between the U.S. and the U.K. Look how much crap they're putting into our food, and look what the U.K. gets. Why is this a thing? Here's another example. Why are they putting BHT in our food? That stuff's been known to cause cancer, and they're just doing it for the freshness? But why isn't Kellogg's in the U.K. doing it? Can somebody explain to me in the comment section? Let's continue. I mean, are you guys not seeing this? Look at the comparison between the same company, but sold in different countries. Look what we get in the U.S., all those toxic dyes and things that are going to harm us. Look what the U.K. UK gets. What? I'm sorry y'all, but I'm getting sick of this. Look what they're putting into our food. Go to the UK version. Why are any of those toxic dyes in their food? Why are Americans having to suffer like this? This is too much. Like honestly, I don't get it. Why can't we learn from the UK and use natural flavors and natural dyes? Why do we have to use these substitutes that are causing illnesses and cancers? What the heck is going on? Even though this comparison doesn't look as bad, why do we have more ingredients still? Why does the UK have less? You can clearly see that UK does not want their people sick. What does America want for us? And they allow us to stay sick and toxic. Number four, Heinz ketchup. You know, the, the kind you're gonna find in almost every restaurant in America. Heinz ketchup is GMO free in the United Kingdom but full of genetically modified organisms and high fructose, fructose corn syrup in the United States, along with lab-produced natural flavorings, which not all of them are bad, but from a company like this, they're bad. And it helps create an addiction to the product. Think of that the next time you're dipping your fries and you can't stop eating that ketchup. Listen guys, when I do these videos, it's just to inform you and to wake some people up. Now let's continue. Doritos. Now, both versions of Doritos are horrible, but the American Doritos are covered in artificial dyes. They're all made from petroleum, the red number 40, the blue number 1, the yellow number 5, super toxic. The dyes have been found to be contaminated with carcinogens, such as benzidine. Benzenes can create some really ugly blood cancers over Whoa, 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 whoa. Did he say blood cancer? If you want more about this, like, comment, and share. Thank you.